wondered about the secret to Barack and Michelle Obama's happy marriage because they are the epitome of happy marriage, I think the answer might have just been revealed. In a new book written by Obama's former White House communications director called Yes, We Still Can, he talks about the three questions everyone should ask before choosing a life partner, all right? Yes. So they are, is she someone you find interesting? Does she make you laugh? Do you think she will be a good mom? All right? Guys' thoughts, you know, are the deal-breaker questions. You know, all that's good, but what are the deal-breakers when finding a partner? Like, what are the things that you don't want to necessarily hear? Uh, that he, just call it He quits? needs to be taller. He <laughs> needs to be tall. Okay. Less, less, less. <laughs> that's a deal-breaker for you. So, so no looking up to you. Uh, you no, you yeah, won't no, 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 no. Okay. No looking down. <laughs> um, for me, I actually dated someone that pronounced Chipotle Chipotle. So, oh, yeah. exactly, really? exactly. That's deal breaker 101 right there. Chipotle. But aren't you supposed to teach? Like, the man is supposed to have to teach and stuff. Like, why'd you call around? You know, it's so hard. What about you? Like, what, what's your deal breaker? Um, they need to floss. I, I'm like, like, I don't yeah. brush your tongue. Like, yeah. if you walk on that, I'm like not into it. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't kiss yeah. a dirty mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I like, say that if you don't know how to take care of yourself, you yeah. can't take care of me. Yeah, you know? that's right. That's, 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 right. that's true. Yeah. I like all of those. Yeah. I'm with it. All right, so there's more to come, right? David right. Foster, who we all love, after only a year of being, you know, officially dating the beautiful actress, Catherine McPhee. Um, while vacationing, we saw a lot of pictures. They were at the Met Gala together. They were in Europe, all over the place. Now, he's 68 and she's 34. Now, this is the thing. David Foster's daughter, Erin, is also 34, okay? <laughs> now, she was on Instagram poking fun at her dad on uh, Instagram um, post sharing the engagement news, and she commented on the picture saying, Mommy! <laughs> to Catherine McPhee, okay? Now, would you say it's weird to date uh, someone, you know, who you're marrying is the same age, or mate is the same age as your child? Like, they're both 34. I, I don't as long know. as you're not changing diapers, I don't see a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would hope not. That would be some <laughs> yeah. criminal activity. Uh, yeah. I know. More power to the guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, he could, if he's 68, he gets someone 34. Even like vice versa, if you're a, a, a cougar out there getting the younger guys, more power to them. I have no problem with it love at all. Love is love. Yeah. Love is love. So I don't have a problem with the age difference, but it is a little bit weird when you're bringing like a daughter in and they're both yeah. like talking about stuff you don't understand. Right. I feel like that's like right. crazy. You snap, know what I mean? Snapchat. They're like, yeah. Snapchat. 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 You want to snap? snap. <laughs> like, what I mean, snap. And yeah. then, wow, whose birthday do you celebrate? Like, like honestly, yes. You that's have to like, celebrate your so daughter, crazy. but then you have to celebrate your wife. Do you start doing combined birthday parties? That's a lot of candles still. That's a lot of candles. Yeah, decorations. Like, happy 34th. Everyone. Everyone. Like, so crazy. Everyone. Yeah, like, we're all so going crazy. on vacation together. I mean, no more yeah. romantic, like, surprise birthdays. You got to bring your daughter with you, <laughs> yeah, right? Right, right, Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Okay, let's, I got to dig into this. I know we talked about it earlier in the week about Drake. All right, oh, yeah. now, Drake, he was kind of being slick with this lyrical uh, content. No. no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Drake did a drop, okay, these clues in a song, um, you know, God's plan. And he says this line, and we're going to get into it. Mike P, can you help me out with yes, the lyrical content? Content. We're trying to see what these fans are talking about. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. There was. There was. Did y'all catch it? There go. I think he said, I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. Right. Okay. So it was said that God's plan, those lyrics we just heard, were revealed to have like a double meaning that, my, you know, my, my, my bed, bed was possibly him saying his son's middle name because his son's middle name happens to be Mobed. So what do you think? Was he trying to pull a fast one on no. us? Like, what? what's going on, Drake? Smart. Is he, he that lyrically? He's, no, he's not that lyrically great. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, let's just be real. Shout let's out to your real. ghost writer, Drake, yes. for first oh, time writing that one. Man. For real. Oh, man. 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 Drake here. No. Listen, <laughs> let's just be real no. though. We gotta we, be we real. We love Drake, but Drake don't love his son because it's now just finally coming out that he has a son. So let's just be real. Exactly. All right, all right. You guys, <laughs> we can talk about this more, 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 more. Yeah. But Drake, we love Drake. Shout out to Drake. But yes, he did full of pass went on him. And that does it for your morning pop. Big thanks to Carly, Rufio, and my girl Nakia. Yeah.